Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Though Douglas County Attorney Don Klein feels the shooting was justified in self-defense, he's taking a step to let others take a look at the case. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us live. Jake? Well, Jenny, right now we have Senator Ernie Chambers addressing a group of citizens rallying outside of the City Hall and Courthouse area, talking about the importance of voting as well as standing up for their rights. And they heard the community, they heard the protests. Klein says he will ask for a grand jury to review the killing of James Skurlock. He will petition the district court to convene a grand jury for a special prosecutor to examine the case. Late Saturday night, James Spurlock was shot and killed outside the Hive and Gatsby bars in the Old Market. Surveillance video shows the owner of the bar, Jake Gardner, in a confrontation with protesters when he's backing up and flashes a gun. Two people jump on him and he fires at two shots. Then Spurlock gets on his back and Gardner shoots him, killing him. Gardner said it was in self-defense and Klein agreed. Now that there will be a grand jury, Skurlock's family wants more witnesses and videos to come forward. I certainly believe in transparency and I have no problem with any oversight about decisions that we've made. First, I want to thank the black community for getting us this grand jury peacefully. I understand the pressures on everybody from the judicial board to the community. And when we raise our voice about an injustice that we can make a difference. I think that was huge for our community to see. I think that was huge. When I say our community, I'm not just talking North Omaha, but the entire Omaha community. Wayne and the Skurlock family says they are still far from justice, but on the right track. It will take months for that grand jury to happen. But the grand jury process is secretive. No media or public are allowed, and sometimes they only announce if an indictment is issued or not. Klein says the jury can make a report of their findings in the Skurlock killing when it happens, but Wayne says that's not always the case, so we'll have to see what happens going forward. But again, number of people out here listening to Senator Ernie Chambers right now. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Thanks, Jake. Omaha police are also still asking for witnesses in this investigation. The Omaha Police Homicide Unit is attempting to identify the person being shoved in a video you're seeing here relating to the shooting of James Skurlock. They're asking if you can identify this person to please contact Omaha Police Homicide Detective Ryan Hinsley. The number is on your screen right now. We also have this on our website, 3newsnow.com. County Attorney Don Klein acknowledged that it could take a while before a grand jury can be called due to the COVID-19 outbreak. When it is called, a jury of 16 members, three alternates will be seated. It will be their responsibility to hear the state's evidence and decide whether charges should be filed. They cannot find him guilty, but can indict him and move the case to trial. The decision is made solely on the basis of the state's evidence without the accused person presenting their side of the case. Both Don Klein and the Skurlock family's attorney, Justin Wayne, have asked anyone with videos or eyewitnesses accounts of the shooting to contact Omaha police.